So you're a complete newbie. You want to get into the land investing game and you have no clue where to begin, where to start, what needs to be done next before you can take that first step. In this video, I'm going to break it all down for you. What's good? It's Michael Alder here from takingactiontoday.com bringing you all the tips, tricks, and strategies to go ahead and get your land investing business up and running and profitable. But on top of all that, we're going to sprinkle in some passive income strategies for you as well. Having said all that, where is the best place for land investors, newbies to begin? Start on YouTube. You're here right now. You got the spot. Don't overthink things though. I want you to pick a couple channels. Go ahead and get the basics down. Get an understanding what land investing is all about. And in a nutshell, the best place to start with land investing is rural vacant land. It's off the grid. It's really hard to mess up. And even if you mess up, you're not going to get hurt in the process. So everybody starts in Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, Southeast California, Central Florida, a lot of times Arkansas too, that's a whole nother subject. Start with those first few I mentioned. That's the best place to start. Now, right away, every newbie land investor wants to say, what about my LLC? What about this? What about my website? What about that? You do not need all that in the beginning. What you need to do is to get through a deal from start to finish. That's it. So I want you to get basic knowledge. If you don't have any clue how this real estate game's played, how to go ahead and find deals, negotiate deals, all that stuff. We're gonna break this down for you real quick in this one, but you gotta go take action. That's the top secret formula right there that'll lead you to success. You gotta take action. You're gonna fall flat on your face. You're gonna look stupid. You're gonna sound dumb, that's okay. Every one of us have sounded like complete idiots. I still do to this day, but I've done hundreds of deals at this point. Having said all that, that's all you have to do. So let's go ahead and walk through this step by step so you could go ahead and get up and running, get through your first few deals, build your confidence, and then you're gonna go ahead and scale that business here. So go on YouTube, pick a couple channels. You're here right now, we have tons of content here, but I will be like, hey, this is the channel for you. Just stick around right here. No, check a couple other channels out there. Get a little bit of knowledge in the business. Next, don't overthink anything but getting into a cheap deal with almost zero annual tax bill attached to it and off the grid in the middle of nowhere. Your goal is to acquire a deal for next to nothing, sell it above what you paid for it, and just work through those steps right there so you could go ahead and say, boom, I got through my first deal, we're good, everything's golden, now I'm ready to scale. So, a couple main places to start here. Go to New Mexico, go to Arizona. The reason being the deed process is stupid easy in both of these states. Land is really cheap and it's really easy to sell and you're gonna be working on tiny numbers here. So you gotta narrow down to New Mexico and Arizona. Next step, you gotta go ahead and know the value. So Cochise County, Arizona, you're gonna see everything's listed for $700. We're gonna look for that gem there that we can negotiate down to $300. And when we do that, we are buying directly from a wholesaler. When we buy directly from a wholesaler, the reason we're doing this, even though we could get them cheaper doing direct mail marketing, we wanna get a deal done fast and we wanna know the filing of the deed process. So you see Mr. or Mrs. Wholesaler out there, all these properties are selling for 700 to 900. You negotiate it down for, to three to 350. You go ahead and buy the first deal and you say, hey, please walk me through the deed filing process on this deal as well. So you're gonna get a template of the deed that's getting transferred from them to you. You're gonna save this because when you sell it, you're gonna transfer it from you to your buyer. But we need to know not only how to do the deed, which you're gonna learn in this process, but where to mail it to and how much the filing fees are. You're gonna pick up the whole entire process, which is an investment course in itself, and you're gonna get all that for $350 plus a property. So we acquire this, we take notes on everything, we have all the templates, boom, we have a property, we're ready to rock. Now we paid 350. We have two options here. We could flip this thing for 700 right now. Let's, just, let's go even lower. Let's say we wanna wholesale it just to get through the deal, we sell for 550. We're in it for 350, we're gonna sell this for 550 to say we got our first deal done. You go ahead and list it on Craigslist, you put it on Facebook Marketplace, you go ahead and do a YouTube video on it and you get that phone ringing. You don't need a website, you need to make contact and then just get this deal sold. Now, one thing I gotta back up on, when you purchase it from the wholesaler, the one thing you would absolutely wanna request and you'll get this on your deed, most of it, is the parcel number, the legal description, the size of the property, and here's the key thing, the GPS coordinates. Because when people are calling you about this property, you're gonna say, do you have any pictures of the actual property? I always tell people, hey, go on Google Earth, put these coordinates into Google Earth, and it'll zero right in onto your property, and then you could scroll around and see what's in the surrounding area. That way people could do their own due diligence on the property, and then you'll be able to sell it to them. Now. Let's get back to this listing here. So we're gonna list it everywhere with all the description that we got from the wholesaler, just gonna copy and paste it. 
along with the GPS coordinates, make sure you have that, and then just change the name, obviously for the contact information from the person you bought it from, to your contact info, plus raising the price. Are you sticking with me here? I hope you are. Next, you're gonna go ahead and hammer all the space online. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Craigslist, even do a little paid ad. You would buy some ad space on landflip.com. Idea is to get traffic coming in. You will sell this property, especially if you market it aggressively like that. If everything's selling for 700 and you could sell for 550, trust me, it'll sell. Once you get it under contract there, the buyer's gonna send you the money, let's say the $550, cash app, Venmo, whatever. They're gonna send you the cash for it. You're gonna prepare the deed. You're gonna send them a deed draft for it. Say, hey, please review everything. Make sure all your information looks correct on this deal. And if it does, I'll go ahead and get it notarized. I'll send it out to you with filing instructions so you could sign off and then go ahead and have it filed. Once all this is handled here, they review the deed draft and then they say, hey, everything looks great, perfect. If there's anything wrong, just make the adjustments on the draft, send it over to them one more time till you get a thumbs up. Once you do, you're gonna go ahead and sign off, have your signature notarized. In some places, that's all you have to do and then send it out for filing. Some places, you'll have to have them sign it as well and have their signature notarized too. It's just a small variation per county. Don't overthink that or either. You'll figure out the process when you do it on the buying side from the wholesaler. Next, all that's good, thumbs up. You send it out to your buyer with instructions on how to file it. Hey, you're gonna mail this to Navajo County Clerk of Courts, whatever. Deed filing fee is X number of dollars and have a great day. That's it, you're done, you're out. You send it priority mail. You give them a tracking number so they know their deed's on the way absolutely take their call if they have any questions once they receive the deed, but everything should be spelled out in there for them. You mail it here with a check for this and much, made out to this person, they file it, transfer it, send it back to you, boom. You just walk through your whole land investing deal, start to finish, and that's all there is to it. The biggest hurdle is the confidence play and the fact that everybody wants to just overthink all these things. And yes, all the other pieces are important, but not as important as walking through your first deal and getting it done. So. I just broke all this down for you. Next steps, if you wanna get into the land investing game, you wanna see how I do this step by step, consider investing in the land flipping formula video series. It shows you how we buy and sell land, how we connect with wholesalers. We've been doing this for years, each week, month, and year in our land investing business. And you can acquire the land flipping formula video series for only $25 and on top of it, when you purchase the land flipping formula video series, I'm gonna send you a copy of Russell Brunson's book, Dot Com Secrets, as a bonus just to help you with some of your marketing strategies, building out your brand, and all that slick stuff in the middle. So, having saw all that, you can pick up your copy at myflippingformula.com. There'll be a link directly below this video if you wanna move forward with that. As always, go ahead and comment below with any questions or text me directly at 440. 678-1151. I could create the content answering your questions for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video.